Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie and welcome to any new watchers and welcome back you regular watchers. Thanks so much for taking the time to check out my channel and today I'm going to be uh, doing a little affordable drugstore and high street makeup haul, things that I've been buying recently and let you see what I've been interested when I've been going to the shops and what I've been picking up. Um, so if you do like this video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's get started to have a look at what I've been buying. So the first item I picked up when I was in um, Superdrug but actually it sold out so I bought it on Superdrug online and it's the Makeup Revolution Retro Lux Matte Lip Kit Lip Contour Lip Pencil Liquid Lipstick. So it looks like this. And I went for shade Rian um, because it looked like a nice sort of matte, uh, sort of pinky nude shade. And this retailed for £6. And I thought this was a really interesting item because it really reminded me of the Kelly Cosmetics lip kits and looked like quite a good jip of uh, some of her products. So inside the box you get a, a little... Uh, lip pencil and the liquid lip so let's have a little swatch for you guys so you can see what it looks like so that is the liquid lipstick and that is the lip pencil um, the lip pencil was very very creamy uh, when I was applying it to the back of my hand and the matte lipstick looks like hasn't dried super super matte on my hand but I imagine it will dry matte in a few more minutes so really excited to try these out and uh, give them a go on my lips. The next item I purchased was also from Superdrug. I was in Superdrug and I seen the new Boria M Matte Me Up Lip Kit, Matte Liquid Lip Paint and a Lip Liner. And I went for shade Pose, which is sort of quite similar looking to the Revolution shade. But I thought, again, quite interesting concept with the liquid lip. Uh, similar, it reminded me of a drip of the Kelly Cosmetics and thought actually by picking this up then it'd be quite interesting to see how it compares to the Revolution one. So it looks like this and the lip pencil looks like that. So I'll just swatch you these to see if they're similar and what they look like. Oh, so um, the straight away this lip paint is a lot more liquidy than the Revolution. So I'll just show you that. Um, so that is the um, Boriam liquid lip and then that's the pencil. Um, so it is quite similar, a little bit more, it's a little bit lighter, the Boriam one, and the pencil wasn't quite as creamy. And this little set retailed for £6.99, so it was a pound more expensive than the Makeup Revolution. So again, looking forward to trying that on the lips and seeing how it works out. Um, following on from Liquid Lips, which have been a little interest of mine, seeing more and more um, affordable brands come out with uh, Liquid Lips, I thought it'd be quite interesting to see how they actually test out. So um, recently the New Look uh, store has released more makeup and I purchased the Super Matte Liquid Lipstick and I went for shade Nude Rose. And I think this retailed for around 4 99 but I will link below all the products that I bought in case you guys want to try them out as well. So I'll just swatch you this on the back of my hand so you can see compared to my other liquid lips. So the little applicator is really nice on that and this one is um, definitely more pink. That's the new look one there. It's uh, more of a rosy pink so actually really nice and think that would be quite a nice shade on me. So yeah, looking forward to trying that. Also with the new look when I was looking online, I did buy the new look products online but I know they do sell in store as well in some of their new look stores. I decided to go for the Flawless Liquid Foundation SPF 15 and this was 4 .99, and it comes in this little box. I went for shade Porcelain and when I see new foundations I'm always like, oh let's see what it's like. Um, so this comes with a little, oh, so it's got a little squirty chip. Just show you the shade. Again, I had to, they didn't have very many shades to pick from with this um, foundation and this foundation I think this one is a natural looking finish with medium coverage so it's their lighter weight one not their fuller coverage because their fuller coverage was a matte fin like I think it was more mattifying so I didn't really want that so 
that is it there. It's pretty, pretty light, so hopefully it's not too white on my face, but I can always bronze it up. Um, so looking forward to trying that. Um, I also decided to try the liquid concealer uh, cover and perfect uh, from uh, New Look. Um, again, I think this was about £5 or £5.99. So it's a little twisty uh, applicator one straight on and I got shade porcelain so I'm looking forward to trying that and may do a little first impressions of the foundation with concealer to actually let you know how New Look makeup performs because I've never actually tried any of their makeup before. I also got a concealer from uh, Superdrug which was the L'Oreal Perfect Match and I went for, what shade did I go? I went for the lightest shade, um, looks like this. Went for their lighter shade, I think it might be vanilla. I don't know why I can't see what shade it is. Okay, I'll link below which shade it got. I think I got the lightest which was vanilla. Um, it's got a little applicator that's really cute heard good things about that concealer. So that is the concealer just there. Let me just cover up my little mole. Covered up the mole now. So um, yeah, that I'm excited to try out um, the L'Oreal concealer. I think this was about six ninety nine, and I actually think I might have got this from ASOS, now that I'm remembering. I'm pretty sure I got it in ASOS. Um, so we'll link that below, because it's actually kind of handy, because with ASOS you get, once you pay £10 delivery for the year, then you get like free shipping on every item you purchase, so I'm pretty sure I bought that from ASOS. Then I picked up a Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 Hours in shade uh, Creamy Matters, and it looks like this. Um, so again, oh I got Cream de Nude number 93. Um, so again, I've not tried this out, but I uh, heard good things about this being a dupe for the MAC um, eyeshadow primer. It's going to be a good eyeshadow primer, even though it is an eyeshadow colour. That's it there, but it's going to be really good for putting down as a primer before you put on your eyeshadow. So this was only like about £5, so I thought I'd give that a go and see if it works any better than what I normally do, which is I put on concealer for priming my eyes. Then I picked up the L'Oreal Voluminous Extra Black um, five times bigger lashes in shade black mascara. I've heard really good things about this as well and when I saw this I thought oh I really want to give this a go. That's a brush head so it looks quite promising. Uh, my favourite favourite um, which I've already pre-owned of L'Oreal mascaras is the volume million lash extra black so this is my new one so I hope it performs as well as the million lash which has this head, so actually looking at the head size, I'll just compare, hopefully they're as good. So the head size, this one is definitely bigger, the Million Lash, and the Carbon Black is smaller, so, and the br bristles look more spread out, whereas these have really, really fine little bristles. The new Carbon Black one that I'm trying out has a lot more spread out, bigger lashes. So looking forward to trying out the new L'Oreal mascara that I bought, and hopefully it works out well. And I think that was like 9 99 Then my final product that I got uh, from the drugstore uh, was the Bari M Flawless Chisel Cheek Contour Light to Medium Contour Kit. It looks like this. Um, so this reminded me of the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Kit. Obviously you only get um, three instead of in Anastasia Kit you get six. Um, but I thought, yeah, this was quite interesting contour colours that look quite good for fresh skin, got a slightly more warmer and a cooler tone one and then the light uh, for setting uh, under eye area. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give this a go as it was affordable, I think it's like 7 99 or 6 99 So these are all my purchases uh, from the drugstore slash high street slash affordable uh, makeup brands. I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul and found it interesting what I had been picking up when I went out shopping. And do let me know what you guys have bought over the last few weeks or months. Um, I always love to hear from you guys, anything in the drugstore or high-end, any items that you've been really enjoying. Love to hear from you guys and then I can go check it out too. And yeah, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!